Howdy y'all, it's Tuesday, March 7th, 2017, and it's time for Bipolar Opposites. My name is Timothy Andrew Antonio Cubbon, and I'm the host of this series. Right now, we're going to examine the news article, 97-year-old twins leave world as they entered it together. By Jennifer McDermott of the Associated Press, posted March 6, 2017. 97-year-old twins, Jean Young-Haley and Martha Young-Williams, left the world as they entered it, together. The two women died over the weekend in freezing temperatures after both filming him straight outside Haley's home following an evening out. Police say they believe Williams fell as she walked to her car Friday evening, and Haley fell as she tried to get inside to call for help. Williams' daughter Susan said Monday that she takes thoughts knowing the twins entered and left to get life together, with one trying to save the other. She says it would have been incredibly hard for either sister to live without the other. It's powerful, it's astounding, it's stunning, she said. And as the pain we're all feeling, at least they're together. A neighbor found the sisters Saturday morning. Overnight temperatures in the area dropped to as low as 11 degrees, with wind chills as low as minus 8. Little twins, the two women had quite different personalities, Susan Williams said. She described her mother as fun, as pure and innocent, while her aunt, who mischievous and humorous. They were both fun-loving, enjoyed dining at local restaurants together, where everybody got to know them. The two of them quit together made a whole complete person, she said. They completed each other. The night they died, they fell, they got out for dinner. The sisters often frequented Eats restaurant in Seacock, Massachusetts, or George Mihailides, they're called Monday. Mahiades said seeing his sisters always made him smile. He often asked them about the secret to a long life, and he thinks their upbeat attitude was key. They're extraordinary, he said. A real class act. Martha Williams was born in half her life in Barrington, and had been living for about seven years with her daughter in the Rumfield village of East Providence. Haley lived on the waterfront in Barrington more than 60 years just a 20-minute drive away from her twin. Susan Williams said she was inspired by her mother's way of treating everyone with polite grace and respect and was inspired by her aunt's zest for life. They knew who they were and what they wanted to be who they were. They absolutely did, she said. Haley's family released a statement Monday saying the twins had a great passion for life or an inspiration to us all. They lived their 97 years to the fullest with charm, grace, kindness, and style. They remembered with fondness for the many people whose lives they touched. Okay, the story is beautiful. These sisters shared the twins' bond. They completed each other and they were nothing without each other. But this is a rather different twins' bond than I've ever heard. These two sisters. Well, they so much to this world together. It's very touching and heartwarming and breaks my heart that they died, yet happy they died together. Okay, listen up. I want to hear from you. Give me emails at bipoloropposites119 at gmail.com with, with questions, comments, feedback, topics for future episodes, any ideas at all, but please, no politics. I do not do that. Any emails on this topic will be disregarded. Anything else? It's cool. Well, that's all it is for today. Check out the unscripted clip, which will be available by the time you're watching this clip, and come back tomorrow for more of the opposites. Until then, Tim Cubbin, out.